Hey there. What's up? Hello. So, I was thinking. It's kind of moody and dark outside, and I really am not, not in the mood to do anything. I have to finish my thesis for college. And I was thinking maybe I should draw something because the channel's kind of dead and I don't really have anything else to do right now that is more interesting than just reading articles and stuff like that. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. I really put a lot of work into it and a lot of effort to actually make it look presentable. <laughs> so um, yeah. If you like my video and other stuff that I'm doing right now, you can share, comment and subscribe. I don't know, just supporting me on this journey. And hopefully, I don't know, grow a family. Oh yeah! That sounded really weird. I don't know why all the YouTubers call their subscribers a family. I don't... I don't know, it just sounds so weird to me, so... I'm actually gonna think of another nickname, or I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, just like every other start doing any drawing, you have to obviously start with the sketch. And the sketch is the sketchiest part, the weirdest part, the hardest part to do. And why is that? Because obviously if you um, F up any I don't know any anatomy any um, features that a person has uh, you basically kind of ruin all the drawings so it's not gonna work so first things first in order to actually draw uh, in a realistic way you have to learn and have good anatomy uh, notions on how things should be placed like the eyes, the nose, the mouth um, just just the basic skill and um, after you're done with that obviously you can start other things like I don't know, my process is kind of uh, all over the place I've been trying to make it better during the past few days and weeks by actually studying other artists just like um, Audra Claire and a lot of people, Eric Anthony and his style is pretty simple he starts with the sketch then he starts placing the base colors which is obviously what everyone should do and after you put the base colors, you start shadowing. You start with the um, less prominent shadows, and then you draw the harsh shadows all over the place. And then you place the highlights. And after all that, good stuff you just finish with the details i don't know if you have any details like jewelry i prefer to do the jewelry and the hair last at least some pieces of hair um and yeah that's kind of my um process i don't know it just looks really really uh weird in the beginning it's just it doesn't look like anything it's a serious serious process that you have to go through just like anything in life basically you start with nothing you literally start with nothing and then you just build up and build up and build up and then you have the finished product and if um, if you're really ambitious about it you're gonna like it and hopefully everybody else is gonna like it too because yeah yeah but the thing is, at least in the beginning, I kind of struggled a lot. Um, I, st I still struggle with anatomy. It's something that I'm probably forever going to struggle with because I haven't been to any art schools out there. Um, maybe it would have been a better option for me. I don't know. I just chose 
to let it be just a hobby and stuff like that. But I, I'm just thinking if I could have actually put the work and the effort into it, like from the very beginning, maybe I would have been a lot further on the journey than other people right now. And that's fine. I mean, every, every person has their own journey. It's never gonna be the same. But yeah, basically I'm gonna try to make it better. I'm, 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 I'm gonna try. I, I'm trying all the time <laughs> to make stuff work. And if they don't work, they don't work. I, I'm just... It's important not to give up, all right? That's the thing. That's, that's the attitude to have. That's, that's, that's what you have to do. And yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm just sitting here rambling about anything and nothing in particular. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope you like it, though. I don't know, I, I'm not used to talk to a camera, let alone with people, because I'm an introvert, and introverts don't really like to put themselves out there and to actually share their opinions with people. I don't know, it's just something that I have to overcome first, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's a good idea for people to just express themselves no matter how they choose to. And I just think that there are some socializing platforms out there that really, really help a lot of people to just be able to want to relax, to chill. I don't know, God knows, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a chill person. I never was and um, I always stutter and I always just lose my ideas and ramble and just talk about stuff. You can say that my source of creativity is um, way over the roof somewhere. Yeah, well, let me think. Where I find my creativity? I don't know where I find my creativity. I think I find it in girls in general. Pretty girls. Girls that know how to dress in fashion, in makeup. I love makeup. Um, in nature. And uh, I know I didn't draw any landscape in such a long time and I really miss it and I should really really draw something like that or animals or anything of that sort and uh, I don't know I, I what are other things that I don't draw men I don't really draw men I don't know why I, I don't hate men I don't but there's just something about their aesthetics that just don't work with social media unless they really have good cheekbones and jawlines and yeah I'm shallow <laughs> I'm shallow as F <laughs> so if you know any men with good jaws you can please please I actually ask you to send them to me to actually draw them <laughs> Yeah, so um, if you're wondering if you should start being an artist or a professional artist, you may want to consider a few things before doing so. Like there are some perks, definitely some perks and some satisfactions that come with it, but there are also some um, disadvantages. And the number one thing is the money. I mean, if you are a beginner artist, you can get away with everything. You can draw on anything. Well, not exactly anything. I mean, I remember that my first drawing was on notebook paper and it was lined. Like, imagine that. And it was kind of good. I mean, I didn't expect my for like my drawing to be that good. And when I finished it, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't try it on anything else, even on a freaking wall or something. So yeah, I mean, as a beginner artist, you don't really care what you're drawing on or what you're drawing with. It's important.
important to just practice and practice and practice no matter what medium you're trying to learn. Um, you can go to any store you want and just take any piece of paper you find, any watercolors, any crayons, it doesn't really matter as long as you start to sketch with it and then you reach another whole another level where you will feel obviously you will feel compelled to actually um, I don't know buy something else that's more um, that has more quality like a thicker paper like some professional crayons I don't know some faber castells some polychromos anything and then you're ready to start on another level yeah but definitely money is number one issue then number two I mean it, it depends on the person number two I think for me it was definitely the sketching part the anatomy part the mechanics of drawing the whole um, the whole theory that came along with it, it's a lot of the theory. I mean, um, you might think that painting and stuff like that is really easy and it comes like just like that. You just start and you, you are focusing on what you're doing and stuff like that and that's it. But if you are not actively learning, you're not gonna actively remember anything after that. So you're not gonna be able to draw from imagination, you're not gonna be able to portray anything else because you're not actively doing anything. Number three, another struggle that I face and most of the artists face is um, not having a lot of how is it called? A lot of fans? That that sounds so... Nah. I don't know. You don't really have a crowd that actually looks at your work and actually likes your work. Especially in the beginning, you're not gonna win anyone's heart if you don't really put your own heart into that work. And... It's the same thing that goes with everything. I mean, you have to actually try to um, perfection. I don't know how to talk today. How's that? And you know what I mean. You you won't get a lot of popularity in the beginning, and that's that's kind that kind of sucks because you put a lot of work into it, and um, yeah, it's it's harder in the beginning. Then you slowly just start to build up again. But it's not the same as, I don't know, singing and dancing and stuff like that. It, of course, it's the same, probably it's the same amount of work, if probably not more than that. But, um, I don't know, singing, I think singing is meant for doing it in the moment, being in the moment actually participating at it, in it, for it. <laughs> Just don't put me on blast if I don't talk English correctly because it's not my native language and nor I think that I will ever, ever learn it properly. So, I don't know. I think these are the three most um, I forgot what I <laughs> I forgot what I what I was about to say um, yeah these are the three struggles that at least that I know of and um, I don't know maybe other people actually have other struggles um, well, obviously, I'm not a professional artist, but yeah. And uh, I don't know, perks of being an artist. People are looking at you and they ask you, Did you do that? 
you bet them I did. You feel all warm and fuzzy inside and you feel special and stuff like that. At least I know that <laughs> I'm, I always did that. I always felt like that and I still do. After, I don't know, almost 10, 10 years? 10 years drawing. <laughs> other perks, other perks. Oh, you can definitely um, work on your creativity levels in any um, situation in your life. If you have any problems, if you need a different perspective over things and you can just solve like any normal problem like the usual way if you are a creative person and you just focus on that every single day you i guarantee you you're gonna actually come up with solutions that you never actually thought that you would be able to and it's just it stimulates you thinking outside of the box, which is a really good thing. It also helps you a lot in conversations. It helps you be, I don't know, it helps you be funny and original. And people really like that. And on top of it, you're never going to be bored because you will always have something to do, something to work on and stuff like that, projects to do things to learn which is awesome and uh, especially now in the this period of time I don't know if I'm really allowed to say this but whatever in this period of time uh, people are really struggling with staying inside and they really don't know what to do other than just watching like movies and TV series and stuff like that, they don't really do anything else. They probably read, but yeah. So it's another thing that you can do. And I mean, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, so I think this was everything that I was about to say. If you, I don't know, if you want to ask me anything, you're free to do so. You can comment and stuff like that and just let me know what you're doing and yeah so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time